Well, in Finland, we have this political electoral cycle where it's very typical for somebody in prime ministerial position to lose popularity over the four years. So actually, one question political scientists are asking, how come she actually got more votes than the last time? It's just that the votes got concentrated also for the other two big parties and they got past her. Yes, so I see she won more seats, which is, uh, you know, a strange outcome, but uh, she's in no position to um, form power. Does this indicate a swing to the right of politics in Finland? It surely indicates a uh, right-wing uh, sort of tendency in Finland. Whether that will be seen as a pure sort of right-wing coalition with centre-right and further right, together, which is one possibility. There's still possibility that the centre-right party that emerged as the winner uh, would find an articulation with Sanna Marin's Social Democrats, which would still be a more right-wing uh, coalition than the current one, but uh, still Sanna Marin could still be in government, but not as prime minister. Has she indicated that she is open to such a, an agreement? Yes, it's very common in Finland that uh, we almost always have coalition governments. So if you are within the top three of the <laughs> uh, parties after the election, you are likely to fight for a coalition where you could enter. Uh, it's it's a little bit difficult. The positions about public spending and you know fiscal discipline are quite different between the social democrats and the more right wing parties. But it will be difficult for the right wing parties also to form a coalition because there's if not a real cordon sanitaire, if not a total unwillingness of some parties to join the Finns party because of their alleged racism, at least forming a coalition will be difficult there. So she might be back in government, but not as prime minister. As prime minister. So to your point, there is not a lot of tolerance for that more extreme right wing side of politics. Well, there's more than before. They are more acceptable to the center right. Also because the economic policy line of the more extreme right wing party has moved from more populist line towards a more business friendly traditional right-wing economic policy. So it might well be that with the main centre party and centre-right party and the more right-wing party find each other and find common ground, what they might have more difficult is to find willing partners to get majority of seats for the coalition in the parliament. Yeah, interesting. Now, uh, Jens Stoltenberg today has said that Finland will be cleared to join NATO from tomorrow, in fact, so that's a real fast track. Um, this. It, it, I take it will still be a priority for any new government. Uh, yes, I mean, uh, now as Finland seemingly enters NATO tomorrow, Sanna Marin is still the prime minister and it will be under her watch, so to speak. It seems she's not traveling to Washington for the ceremony also because prime minister in foreign policy doesn't play a role in, in NATO. It's the president, minister of defense and foreign minister, and she's busy in governmental negotiations. Yes, oh. a bigger priority at the moment. Although, you know, that would have to be one of the most significant, one of a sig the significant achievements of her government. Well, it's seen as one of the biggest watersheds in Finnish history. And, and there's a wide, not total, but wide consensus until Russia started its war of aggression uh, February last year, majority of Finnish people and politicians were against NATO membership. And now overwhelming majority are for it. And Sanna Marin has been able to ride that wave as well. Yeah. Um, you know, she, she, she's sort of a bit like um, the New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern, who was resigned recently. She was very highly regarded on the international stage. Was she still very popular in the polls at home? Well, um, I mean, inside Finland, even if she's a huge star for international media, he or she's an ordinary politician. You know, people who like social democratic politics tend to like her. 
and people who don't like don't like her and when she <laughs> dances it's not necessarily whether you like her dancing it's whether you like the kind of politics and then you say no 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 that's too much or that's fine and all that so but this happens to many people how many would have been surprised that i don't know Win winston churchill after the war <laughs> a big hero and then he loses an election uh, and, and many others so uh it's it's not uh unique uh, that this happens yes Tevo, so it's profit her yes. home no so true so so interesting to watch um really great to have you on thank you so much thank you mm.